Eddie TV presents the Super 16 Scholarship Bowl. Good evening, everybody. We are ready to begin the semi-final round of the Super 16 Scholarship Bowl. I'm Nolan Johannes. Marisa Berg is on a news assignment tonight. Two teams that survived the first round of the competition are G.A.R. and Chickalini. Now, one of these two teams after tonight will be looking for the championship round and a chance to win $9,000 in scholarship money. So now, let's meet tonight's team players. First, let's go to G.A.R. And let's take a look at their coach. Bob Rushton is the coach for G.A.R. He is the director of student activities and a senior English instructor. Now, the team members, first team member, Joseph Antonishak. He is a senior at G.A.R. Joseph is a member of the National Honor Society and SAD, S-A-B-D. Joseph enjoys basketball and collecting baseball cards and memorabilia. He plans on attending college and studying science. Cheryl Aleo of Wilkes Ferry is a member of SAD, the school orchestra, and the yearbook and newspaper staff. Cheryl would like to get a degree in marine biology and become a shark specialist. Let's go to Wayne Berry. Wayne is the captain of tonight's GAR team. He attended junior leadership in Wilkes-Barre and won the Hallmark and Wyoming Valley Art League Award. Wayne is hoping to major in art or math at college. And finally, John Lynch of Wilkes-Barre was named Academic All-American, and he won the 1990 Bounce and Loam Science Award. John won five first-place awards in the five computer contests that he has entered, and John would like to study computers in college. That's it for G.A.R. Let's go over now and uh, find out who the members of the Chickalini team are. Let's go to, first of all, the coach, Carl Askew. He is the team coach for Chickalini. He also is the director of the enrichment program. First team player is Eric Shearer of Northumberland. He attended the Pennsylvania Governor's School for the Agricultural Sciences. Eric enjoys being a member of the band, collecting stamps and baseball cards, and playing sports. And Eric plans to attend college and study meteorology. Next is Aaron Blanchard of Sunbury. He's the captain of the Chickalini team tonight. Aaron is a member of the National Honor Society and the German Club. Aaron also enjoys piano and participating in church-related activities. William Kressler of Sunbury participates in forensic choir and is a member of the Key Club. His hobby, piano, collecting stamps, and playing tennis. William plans to attend college and major in education or computer sciences. And finally, Jesse Fecker is a freshman at Chickalini High School. He attended a perfect score, that is, he attained a perfect score on a math league test last year. Jesse enjoys computers, playing baritone, reading, and collecting coins. And Jesse hopes to study science in college. Incidentally, Jamie Nidig is the alternate for Chickalini tonight. So you have just met the team members, and they're ready to square off. We'll have three rounds. The last one being the lightning round, and when we come back, we'll begin with the first segment of play. Stay with us. Ready to go. Welcome back. Tonight's judges, incidentally, are Dr. Steve Davies of College Misericordia and Professor Frederick Fagel of Marywood College, and we depend on them for the right answers and the interpretations. So let's get into our first round. Ready, team? Here we go. Of course, the first question is a 10-pointer. Both teams are eligible. You get your fingers on those buzzers. First buzzer, of course, gets the answer. And then we'll have a bonus question. That's worth 20 points in case you win. Uh, give me the right answer for the toss-up. Toss-up question number one. What sugar causes stiffness in plant cell walls? John, G-A-I. That is wrong. Therefore, Chickalemi gets a chance. Anybody on Chickalemi team know the answer. What sugar causes stiffness in plant cell walls? Aaron. Sucrose. Say that again. Sucrose. Sucrose is the answer I was given. No, that is not right either. The right answer is glucose. Glucose is the right answer. Sorry about that. Let's go to question number two. In the movie The Graduate, Benjamin was advised to remember this one word. Was it plastic, silicone, computer, or rosebud? Movie. Jesse, tickle any. Rosebud. Wrong. Wrong answer. Anybody on GAR team? You have a chance. John, GAR? Computer. Wrong. The answer was plastic. The movie that graduated. All right. Question number three. Which planet is the least dense? John, GAR? Jupiter. Wrong. Tickle any. Do you have an answer? William, tickle any. Saturn? Saturn is correct. 
Saturn it is. We have a right answer. We have 10 points on the board. For Chickalady, let's go to a bonus question right now. Here's your bonus question. Only the team captain answers the bonus question. In As You Like It, Rosalind disguises herself as a young lad. What Shakespearean character disguises herself as a lawyer in order to plead a case in court? They can conference, but only the team captain, in this case, Aaron, will be able to get it. The right answer. Fortune? Um, we had a... Was that a... Bu the buzzer rang before the answer, and I'm sorry, but you were right. You had the right answer, Portia, in The Merchant of Venice. Absolutely right. All right, let's go to a toss-up question right now. Once again, both teams, 10 points. Here we go. A sports arena built by Emperor Titus in A.D. 80 still stands despite centuries of pillage and earthquakes. Name this tourist attraction and the city in Europe where the structure is found. Joseph, G A I. Colosseum in Rome. In Rome, that's right. Colosseum in Rome. Correct. Let's go to a bonus question now for G A R. Here it comes, worth 20 points. Perhaps best known for his autobiography, he had an amazing proficiency as an artist, a statesman, a soldier, and a lover. But he was, first of all, a goldsmith. His best known creation is the Perseus and Medusa statue. Identify the artist. Here we are. It's bonus. 12 seconds. Donatello? Yes, but wrong. <laughs> all right. Benvenuto Cellini. All right. Yeah, of course. Let's go to toss up right now for both teams, all right? For 10 points, the least populous and most suburban of the New York City's five boroughs is considering seceding from the city. If it did, it would become the second largest city in the state and one of the top 40 in the country. Name it. Jesse, tickle any. Staten Island. That is right. Bonus question coming your way. Tickle any, here we go for 20 points. Including both the houses of Lancaster and York. This royal line began with Henry II and ended with Richard III. Name it. The Tudor line? The Tudor line, I'm sorry, is not the right answer, and I wish you would have had it, because then you could have pronounced it and not me. How about Plantagenet? Is that right? Oh, good. I get 10 points for that. Nice cross. Okay, toss up. Here we go. 10 points for this one. This is a toss up. Both teams eligible. Here's a theory energy, such as light is given off and absorbed in tiny, definite units called photons. Light appears to be a steady stream of energy. This theory applies only to energy which is transmitted by waves. What is the theory called? Jesse. Electromagnetic. Uh, that is wrong, Jesse. That is the wrong answer. Anybody from GAR? John J.R.? The wave theory of light. All right, why not? Why not try it? It's wrong. The answer is qu quantum theory is the right answer. Oh, of course. Let's go to a talk. Up. Both teams, here we go. For 10 points, name the largest province in Canada. William Chickalini. Quebec? That is right. Quebec. That means Chickalini gets a bonus. Here you go. What are the three basic types of muscle tissue? The three basic types. Muscle tissue. You have 12 seconds. We're conferring. Don't let time run out. Only the team captain. Aaron? Uh, connective, structural, and binding. All right, those are not the answers we're looking for. Smooth, created, or skeletal, and cardiac are the answers. All right, that's a toughie. Let's go to a toss-up right there. Easier. Ten points only. Both teams eligible. If I were insolent, I would be abusive and offensive. What would I be if I were indolent? Jesse, tickle any. Unintelligent. Say that again, please. Unintelligent. No, I'm sorry. That is not the answer. G-A-R, do you know the answer? Anybody? Wayne. Ruth? Ruth is not the answer we're looking for. If I were indolent, I would be lazy. Next toss-up for both teams. Three Texas cities rank in the top ten of the U.S. population leaders. And we can't do it because we're through with round number one. Now, that means round number two is coming up. There's the score. 
Works for the GAR 10 and Sickle ME 30. This is going to be a close match. We'll be right back. All right, a low scoring game thus far. Works for the GAR 10 and Sickle ME 30. Let's see what happens in round two. Same as round one. First, a toss up question for 10 points, then a bonus if you get the toss up. Here we go. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. In which book of the Bible do we find these words? John, G-A-R. The book of Genesis. That is right. Bonus question for G-A-R. Which of the three great masters of the Renaissance painted St. George and the Dragon? An artist. Which of the three? The Renaissance artist. Leonardo da Vinci? Wrong. The answer is Raphael. Raphael. All right, that was for a bonus. Joy GAR, let's go back now, 20 to 30, however, and let's go now to a toss-up. Women's Day Magazine and Campbell Soup are offering $7,500 for anyone who can get President Bush to eat what? Eric, tickle in me. Broccoli. Broccoli, absolutely right. All right, let's go now to the bonus question for tickle in me. Augustine was the first missionary to bring Christianity to England. Many years earlier, in A.D. 432, another missionary first brought the Christian faith to Ireland. Can you name him? Patrick? That's right, Captain Aaron. St. Patrick it is. All right. And the next one. Toss-up question for both teams. Which fast food giant has stopped using foam plastic? Of course, John G.A.R. McDonald's. McDonald's it is. Gee, it's too bad I couldn't read the rest of this question. But let's go to a bonus question for G.A.R. What Irish city is renowned for its crystal? This is a bonus. 12 seconds only to Captain. Dublin? Wrong, Wayne. And you won't like to hear this. Waterford. Waterford Crystal. Yes. All right. Let's go to another toss up. Ready, team? Here we go. Iraq state of the art jet fighter is the Mirage John GAR. Mirage F1. That was the first part of the question. However, that is not the answer. And I'm sorry, John. You'll be docked five points for your team for coming in early. Okay, Chickalini, I'll give the question. Iraq's state-of-the-art jet fighter is the Mirage F-1. It was supplied by what nation? William? The Soviet Union? Wrong. The answer is France. France is the Mirage F-1. Let's go to another toss-up. Both teams, here you go. In addition to drawing crowds wherever it goes, Acura's new NSX Sports Group has made some important technological innovations. It accelerates quickly and gets good gas mileage because engineers replace steel and plastic with alloys of what lighter metal? John, GAR. Aluminum? Aluminum it is. Bonus question for GAR. Name two of the three Canadian provinces that border Quebec. Oh, it's some people say Quebec. Two of the three Canadian provinces. Twelve seconds. Ottawa and Ontario. Um, you were right on one of them. Ontario is a province. The other two, Newfoundland and New Brunswick. Next question. Toss up for both teams immediately after the Civil War. A number of northern politicians migrated south to take advantage of the turbulent conditions. William Tickleney. Carpet bag? That is right. Good anticipation. And you have a bonus question coming up. Many celebrities have launched perfumes with their signatures. Mikhail Baryshnikov carries his nickname. What is his nickname? And what is the perfume? No idea. <laughs> All right. The answer is Misha. I believe that that's how you pronounce it. Misha. Perfume you buy every day, right, gentlemen? All right, here we go. This is for both teams. The Nazi Party originated in Germany. In what country did the fascist party have? John, G-A-R. Italy. Italy is right. Toss-up for G-A-R. Bonus, excuse me. Right, and I do have a bonus question in my hands right here. In 1864, an Austrian archduke was placed on the throne of Mexico by the French. In 1867, he was captured and executed by the Juarez Party. Who was he? Wow. 
12 seconds are up. The answer is Maximilian. Maximilian. Sure, you knew it, right? It's almost there. Let's go to a toss-up for both teams. The score now, Wilkesbury GAR 45 and Chickalini 70. Toss-up for both teams. And one of the worst disasters in American history. 2,200 lives were lost on May 31st, 1889, due to a flood in what country? Jesse Chickalini. Johnstown. Johnstown flood. Absolutely right. Let's go to a bonus. For Chickalini, scientists are stymied by an experiment set up in Baksan, Russia. It's been operating for several months, but the detectors have not recorded a single particle. What elusive particles are they looking for? Neutrinos? Neutrinos is absolutely right. You have 20 points for a bonus. Let's go to a toss-up. Both teams eligible. I think you know you're Louis. Many monarchs named Louis have ruled France. Which was called, which, well, which was called the Sun King? William Chickalini. Louis the Fourteenth. Louis the Fourteenth is right. Another bonus for Chickalini. In response to his prayers, God brought, oh, can't finish the question, that's the, we should finish this. All right, we will finish this. In response to his prayers, God brought fire to his altar after the 450 prophets of Baal had failed. Can you name this prophet? Elijah. Elijah is right. You have a 20-point bonus. Can't take bonus away from you when the buzzer rings. Congratulations so far. Works for a GAR 45. Sickle headed 130. But it's the lightning round coming up. Fast action. Quick question in the next round. Stay tuned. Lightning round coming up. We'll say JR has 45 points right now. Chickalini has 130. Anything can happen right now. This is fast. 10 points only. We keep going with bonus questions for both teams. Question number one. U.S. Iraq talks were held last week in what? William Chickalini. Geneva. Geneva, right. The multiple choice question here. The big bank that failed last week is the bank of A, New England, B, now Jesse Chickalini. New England. New England, right. The CIA changed its prediction of the effectiveness on the effectiveness of the sanctions of Iraq. What do the initials CIA stand for? William Chickalini. Central Intelligence Agency. That is right. Soviet troops were active in the Baltic Republic who? Joseph, G-A-R. Lithuania. Lithuania is right. Mother, multiple choice. This magazine did not mention the Poconos in an article. Jesse Chickalini. U.S. Air. U.S. Air. That's right. Multiple choice. Governor Casey called for blank state layoffs to help balance the state budget. 1,000, 1,500. Jesse Chickalini. 2,000. 2,000. Absolutely right. Next question. Who represented the U.S. at the talks with Iraq in Switzerland? William Chickalini. James Baker. James, Secretary of State Baker. James Baker is right. Next. M.P. stands for military... John, G A R. Military police. Military police is right. Lufthansa. Lufthansa is an airline based in what country? Jesse Chickalini. Germany. Germany, that's right. Are we getting those buzzers cleared in time? <laughs> Here we go. The Secretary General of the United Nations met the John, G A R. Quayar. Pierre de Quayar. Um say that again. Pierre de Quayar. All right. Well, we cannot take that as an answer. I will repeat the question. The Secretary General of the United Nations met Iraq's leader. He is Javier Chickalini William. Perez de Cuellar. Perez de Cuellar. That is correct. Next, multiple choice. There is a university in Maryland named John Hopkins. John Hopkins. John of G.A.R. John Hopkins. Wrong. There is a university in Maryland named... John Hopkins, John Hopkins, John Hopkins. Aaron, Chickalini. John Hopkins. That was a tricky one, and that is right for 10 points for Chickalini. Next one, Soviet troops were also active in the Baltic Republic, whose capital is Riga, R-I-G-A. What republic is it? William Chickalini. Latvia. Latvia is correct. A multiple choice question. Pragmatic means stubborn, reckless, Practical? Aaron Chickalini. Practical. Practical is right. Next one, multiple choice. This activity claims it brings $117 million each year into the Pennsylvania economy. 
John, GAR. Pennsylvania State Lottery. Uh, wrong. The answers in multiple choice are skiing, racing, hunting. Jesse, tickle any. Skiing. Skiing is right. Representing a rat at the park in Switzerland. All right. Is that a reset or was it Joe? I'm sorry? Okay, Joseph, G-A-R. Thank you, Keith. All right, that is correct. Representing a rack in the top. Multiple choice, both teams, the state had to cut off lottery sales on the number 1991 when blank dollars was bet on it. Jesse, tickle me. Ten million. Ten million, absolutely right. Next one, multiple choice. The U.S. has decided to buy a Soviet nuclear reactor, missile... William, tickle any. Nuclear reactor? That is right. Multiple choice. The U.S. State Department said anyone entering the U.S. with an Iraqi passport will be turned back, arrested, fingerprinted. John G.A.R. Fingerprinted. Fingerprinted is right. And there's the end of the lightning round. 85 points for Wilkes-Barre going into the championship round. Piccolini tonight with 270 points. Congratulations, Piccolini, Eric, Aaron, William, Jesse, their coach. Congratulations. And also to G.A.R., Joseph, Cheryl, Wayne, and John. Good job. Thank you for being with us. The semifinals continue, of course, next Saturday night. It'll be previous winners to Wanda against Bloomsburg. Which one will go to the champions against tonight's winner? Well, you'll have to see. Join us next Saturday night when we'll have another edition of our Super 16 Scholarship Bowl. Good night, everybody.